It is so nice to see you all again. <laughs> Australians, proper jobs. You know what I mean? Blacksmith, cobbler, proper jobs. Some of the Melbourne jobs uh, up here, uh, escape room influencer and uh, <laughs> brunch DJ. The main two. I struggle, I, I love your country. I struggle with Australian politics because it's just always the same. It's, Australian politics is like, do you ever take a shit in a port loo at a festival that's blocked, but you go anyway? And as you leave, someone else is coming in. You're like, it was pretty much like that when I got there. Sorry about that. <laughs> my name is David O'Doherty. That's my comedy name. To work out your comedy name, just take your ordinary name and just do comedy. That's all you have to do. <laughs> I always leave a little gap there at my gigs. That's because I was once shot at in this venue. Uh, bullet came, and I saw the bullet coming from the back. I was like, ah, and it killed a woman called Gladys, who we remember you, Gladys. <laughs> You're lucky I came out because backstage is going off tonight. Uh, Cher, the singer, is back there. You know she's married to Ross Noble, the comedian. And that's why she just uses her first name. Yeah, it, it is Chernobyl. You're, yes, it is. It's topical. You have to... We're all feeling our way back into this. Come on, people. Which is not what you want to hear while the dentist is leaning over you. I hope I remember how to do this. Let's just proceed with caution with all the misplaced confidence of a Melbourne waiter with no pad. Is there a more terrifying sight in all of restauranting the padless waiter? There's four of us and we're getting starters. He's never gonna remember this. And he doesn't even go and input it in the machine. He stays making small talk. Write it in the machine, you psychopath! <laughs> After the last two years, I just wanna make you feel alive. That's all I want. How often in your life were you truly alive? Like, you know when you've forgotten you had a Barocca and you take a pee and you're like, oh, my dick's a laser. Oh no, I actually had a Barocca. <laughs> Like when you fall asleep on the train and you wake up, you're like, oh, I've missed my stop. And then the train pulls into your stop and you're like, yes. <laughs> it's my stop and I had a little snooze. Truly alive. Like a first kiss or a last kiss or when a baby laughs at a funeral. <laughs> Is there a more profoundly life-affirming moment than a baby not giving a shit at a funeral? <laughs> Everyone's like, boo-hoo, and the baby's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. You're right, baby, life goes on. Truly alive like when your printer is out of paper and it's gasping for one more sheet it's like ah, 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 and you get a sheet out of the bin you gotta go yeah <laughs> truly alive like when you see a really really old person post pando doing anything ah! <laughs> my neighbor in dublin is called dan and he's 93, and every morning he puts on a suit and goes out on his bike to buy two sausages. Two sausages! <laughs> How do I know? Because he ties them to the handlebars and they come back like a weird bull, like <laughs> truly alive. Like sometimes you're at a show, it's so good, you're like, ah, it's so good that you don't want it to end. It's so good that when it ends, you're like, ah, that's what I want this to be like. I want this gig to be so good that the rest of our lives is an anti-climax. <laughs> Will that happen? I don't know, but I'm just happy to be back doing my show. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>